let's go on to five. Here we have our formula again, and they tell us some information that the situation at first is at STP, at standard temperature and pressure. There's my standard pressure. There's my standard temperature. They tell me that I have 39 liters, and then things change. So when the situation changes and you have two pressures, two volumes, two temperatures, that kind of thing, you're going to need this formula that has, look, two pressures, two volumes, etc. The second situation has four atmospheres and 25 degrees Celsius, and I had to add 273 to get 298 Kelvin. I'm solving for the new volume. So 1 times 39 divided by 273 divided by 4 times 298 gives me 10.6 liters for the second volume. Number 6. Here's our new formula. This is for when the situations don't change. This is a one-stop shop. There's only one pressure, one volume, etc. So you can study this, and I did write it down, but this is pressure. V is volume. Now, volume must be in liters because, or something I'll tell you in a minute, this is moles. I don't know why N is moles, because in a formula, M is mass, so N got picked as moles. Small N, not big N, is moles. That'll come up especially for AP Kids next year. R is named for a French scientist whom I forget. Why would the constant be called R? Because of this dude. Sorry, I don't remember. And T is temperature, and it must be in Kelvin or this doesn't work. And this is called our, our, our ideal gas law. So why do we need a constant? Because pressure times volume is proportional to moles times temperature. If this one goes up double, that one goes up double. The left side will go up, the right side goes up, etc., but they're not equal until we do a mathematical cheat, so to speak. They're not actually the same number. They're not mathematically equal until we put in a constant. And if you're going to use atmospheres, the constant value for R is 0.0821. If you're going to use Tor, the constant value is 62.36. This isn't stuff we memorize. It's always available. There are some big kind of half nasty units on the R actually to make everything cancel out right. It's a pain in the neck. It's a mess. And I've decided to say kind of believe me. If you're that kind of person, you can go look it up. But I'm going to skip it because I'm sick of it before I even started it. So number six <clears throat> wants to ask for grams of CO2. Well, I don't see grams in here anywhere. But I do see something that could be converted to grams if I could get it. If I could get moles, I could convert that to grams. So what do I know? Let's make a sort of a list of what we have in our information. Look, we have a pressure. We have a volume. We have a temperature, although I had to add 273 to the Celsius temperature. And I can look up the value for R. So I have four out of five values except for moles, and I can solve for moles now. So 0.9 times 70.3 divided by 0.0821 divided by 333 is 2.31 moles. Of what? Of carbon dioxide. And I should know how to convert moles to grams using the molar mass. On 7, our information doesn't change. We don't have two pressures, two temperatures, or anything like that. And we're looking for pressure. What do we know? Well, we know the volume. We know R, of course. And, oh, a good point is, well, what do I know about R? Which one do I pick? Well, if they didn't ask for any certain thing, then you can put in whichever one you want. I just think it's easier to use atmospheres just because I do. There's no special reason you could have done this in Tor and put in 62.36. But I chose to do it in atmospheres. So I'm going to choose this for R, so that my answer will come out in atmospheres. I added 273 to my Celsius temperature, and I got Kelvin. And what I have here is a hole in my information. I don't have atmospheres, because that's the question, and it turns out I don't have moles. 
So I can't solve this yet. But do I have information that could get me moles? Yes, I do. I could convert 60 grams of fluorine to moles. And I'm supposed to know that fluorine is F2. So the molar mass is double of 19 grams per mole on your periodic table. I get moles, put that back in here. And now I can solve for pressure. And 1.58 times 0 0.0821 times 248 divided by 6 is 5.36 atmospheres. Except, being giant nerds, they asked for kilopascals. Okay, well, I think way back in the previous video, I said that there are 101.3 kilo pascals, 1,000 pascals per every one atmosphere. So if I put my ratio this way, the atmospheres will cancel out. And I'll multiply 5.36 times 101.3. And I'll get 543 kilopascals.